Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to my Cloth Basics tutorial in Unreal. This will be a two-part series. In the first part, I'll show you how to create the cloth in 3ds Max. And in the second part, I will show you how to use it in the UDK. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a plane. And we are going to scale it to about 200. Alright, go back to your modifier. Set length segs and width to 15. Okay. Go back to create systems bones. We need to create two bones. Uh, all right. Select. Yeah, hold on. Sorry about that. Go back to your modifiers, and you only need two. All right. Select bone two, bone zero two, name it cloth. Select bone zero one, name it rigid. We will be using uh, weight painting. The rigid bone will contain all of the verts that you don't want moving, and the cloth will contain all the vertices that you do want moving. Okay, so now select your plane. Click, make sure you're in modify. Click the modify list, then scroll down until you find skin. Okay. Select edit envelopes. Select your. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now we have to uh, add our bones to our plane. So here it says bones. Add. Select both bones. Select the cloth bone. Right here it says vertices. Select vertices. And just drag and select everything but this top row right here. Scroll down a bit. Open up the weight paint tool and set it to 1. Go scroll back up. Select rigid. Select the top layer of vertices. Go back to the weight tool. Select 1. Now you can flip through and you can see Goths, all these. Um, Alright, well, the next thing we need to do is now that our. Oh, right, one thing. Uh, Unreal needs material, so go on ahead and open up the material editor right here and just drag any material. It really doesn't matter. Okay, now it's ready to be imported into Unreal. So, um, go to Customize, Plugin Manager, uh, right click anywhere load a new plugin. Um, you can drop the plugin in the STD plugs folder. I have not done that yet, so I'm going to have to browse to the UDK folder. Um, UDK 2009-11 binaries, Actor X. Select whatever version of 3ds Max or Maya or XSI you're using. In our case it's Max 2010 64-bit. All right. Once the plugin is loaded, go to Utilities, select More, select Actor X, select the output folder you would like to use. Going to drop mine on the desktop. Mesh file name. We'll call this Cloth. All right, and then hit Save Mesh. Zero vertices were added. Alright, and there we go. Uh, thank you. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use this in Unreal.